Hello, this is Pete Thomas, and welcome to 2015. I hope you had an awesome 2014. You know, I spent New Year's Eve going to a gospel concert and then bringing the new year in with my church family. So I hope you did something similar. You spent time with those that you really love. Now, if you're like most Americans, the goal for the new year is to lose some weight, to shed a few pounds. It's mine as well. I want to shed the pounds that I picked up over the holiday. And listen, before we get to the point of shedding all that extra weight, I want you to do one other thing. I want you to shed goofy goals. Now, what's a goofy goal? Well, let me tell you. Let's say you set a goal. I want to lose 50 pounds by the month of May. All right, 50 pounds by May. Well, that breaks down to right about 10 pounds per month, and that's where it gets goofy. All right, because it's going to take somewhere between six and 10 hours per week in the gym, working out at high intensity to make sure that you get that 10 pounds per month off. If you don't have that type of time to put in in the gym, then you need to assess how much time you actually have because it's not about just intense working out. It's about the habits. You see, you don't determine your future, you determine your habits. Your habits will help you determine your future. So let's back up. Let's say that you've got somewhere around six or seven hours a week to dedicate to exercise and to working out and all of that good stuff. Well, then you need to look at how many hours are in the gym. Let's say you're gonna spend four hours in the gym working out really hard. The rest of the time, you're gonna take that time and what you're gonna do is make sure you're doing meal planning and meal tracking. You're gonna hop online and track your, your meals and communicate with your accountability partners. You're gonna make sure that your clothes are washed. You've got everything prepared for the day before you even head out the door, all right? You start to look at your time, the time commitment first, and then you start to work towards those goals and that'll help you to set a proper goal. So maybe 50 pounds in five months is not reasonable, but if you can dedicate seven hours a week to your health and wellness goal, then you're more than likely to hit that goal at some point down the line and more importantly, to keep it off. So join me in 2015. I'm gonna share more tips with you. I know just a little bit about keeping the weight off, just a little bit about keeping the weight off and about keeping it off uh, uh, permanently. And so I'm gonna share that with you. Hope you have an awesome, awesome new year. Many blessings to you. God bless, we'll talk to you soon.